morning guys and welcome back to a new weekly vlog. It's Monday today and later on me and Luke are going to do some teaching. We're back at our teaching job this week if you don't know. Me and my boyfriend Luke teach at primary schools. We do like a drama club after school. Basically there's a couple of other schools that are interested in getting involved so we're doing a little taster session at about two and then Luke's going to another school to do another taster session and then I'm going to one of the schools that we already teach at and then we're both going to come back here and have the evening here so that is the plan for today. I'm just trying to make sure I've got everything I need and yeah I'm quite nervous to get back into it I don't know why I think I always get really nervous to teach I, d I don't know sometimes I just I just do. I probably won't really vlog much today because obviously I'm going out to teach and then me and Luke will just be having a chilled night here so I probably won't vlog anything else. I edited last week's weekly vlog last night and then I've just scheduled it to go up tonight so that's done. It's not very good but when are my vlogs ever any good so no change there. But I'm going to tidy up some stuff and then there's basically not anything to update you on but I wanted to start off this weekly vlog so Here's a very pointless clip for your eyes. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah, there's one that you can go like right on the top of the rock here, you know? Do you know about this one? Yeah, I think so. Good morning guys, it is now Tuesday and I kind of look like I'm in like a prison uniform or something currently because you can just see these stripes, I don't know, it just looks a bit weird. I suppose people wear stripy stuff a lot but I just turned the camera on and I just felt like I looked like I was in prison or something. <laughs> I'm not, I'm in my Alice in Wonderland pyjamas from Primark that I got for Christmas. But I wanted to show you, it's half ten now and I've just had a little exciting delivery and this is actually from my friend Rebecca. She has recently started up an Etsy store and she's making stickers and stuff and she asked if she could send me some and of course I said yes. So I'm very excited about these. I don't know which one she sent, I know she's just brought out some Valentine's Day stickers so maybe it's them but i don't know but this is really exciting so i cannot wait to see what's in here let's have a look oh wow oh so i've just opened the envelope and this is inside so it's really nicely packaged even got her own stickers here that say rt creations ah yes some valentine's ones oh and she's even wrote me a message Oh wow, so I've got these ones which are the Valentine's Day stickers which are now available and they are little hearts and have a ribbon over that say I love you so you can actually order these ones now. Um, we, oh my god. So we also have these sheep ones as well which are so cute and I've just noticed this one which I am very excited about and it is actually Belle. That is amazing, look at that. And there's also another one in here. I think it's a rabbit. I'm going to open it properly so you can see it. These are so nicely packaged as well. Oh, these are so cute. So as well as the bell sticker, which I'll try and get a closer shot for you. How cute is that? Oh, I really want to stick that on my laptop. I think I might use these to stick on my laptop, but I'm not sure yet. But this one, I definitely need to stick on my laptop or something like that because that is so cool. And then also this really cute rabbit, that is adorable. And then also these cute little ones, there's like a little chick. Again, just need to try and focus it. That is so cute. And then there's also a flower. And then there is also this cute little one, it's like little leaves. Again, this one's even smaller so it's harder to focus but you can probably kind of see it there. So I have those and then obviously the sheep ones and the Valentine's Day ones. So I didn't know if she was going to send me this many. I thought she was just going to send me one set, like maybe just the Valentine's Day ones or 
I don't know, I just wasn't expecting to get so many of them. And she's left me a note as well that says, Esme, thank you. I've included some stickers that aren't out yet and I'm in the process of making all these drawings on my own and will be featured on my Instagram and can be bought on my Etsy. Thank you so much again. Hope you like them from Becky at rtcreations95. So if you want to find her on Etsy or follow her on Instagram, it is rtcreations95, which is right there. So I'll leave that there for you and I'll link it all down below as well if you are interested. So these are currently on her Etsy store for $1.99. So that's really affordable and they are so beautiful. And the fact that she's drawn them all herself is amazing. And the quality of them is really, really incredible. And they're so cheap and I definitely recommend getting some of these. You could use them, to, like I said, to stick on your laptop. You could use it to stick in a diary like if you wanted to use it in your diary or something you could or you could use this for a special someone if you wanted to give them a valentine's day present you could stick this on their card or something you could use them for so much and i think they are amazing and i've also got some that haven't been released yet so here's a little sneak peek of some things that will be coming out soon and she also posts about them on her instagram and stuff as well so definitely go and follow her and go and check out her etsy store Honestly, I totally recommend this. I know you're probably thinking, oh, she's a bit biased because it's a friend, but I genuinely think that these are amazing and so affordable and they're just the cutest thing ever and I'm really, really excited to use them. So yeah, thank you, Becky, for sending me these. In the sheep set, you get like different ones. It's not all the same ones, so it's them doing different things. So there's one where it's listening to music, which is really cute. There's just the standard one. There is this one where it's holding a little sign that says hello. I'm really sorry if you can't see them that well. And then this one is probably my favourite where it's holding an umbrella, which is the cutest thing ever. And then I'll show you in the other set as well, in the Valentine's Day set, there's a few different ones as well. There's the one that was at the front that says I love you. Again, it's probably not going to focus. Come on. Then there's this cute little one. There is also these ones. They're all just pulling different faces basically like these two here. There's this one here, there is a plain heart, and there is even one where there are two hearts together, which is absolutely adorable. So yeah, I just wanted to show you them all properly in detail. Oh, there's this one as well. It looks like this. Um, yeah, I just really wanted to show you them properly because obviously they're not all the same and I wanted you to see like all the different ones you can get. I know I keep saying it but I honestly totally recommend you go and check these out and just go and give her loads of love and support and tell her I sent you because she deserves it. Like these are really really incredible so yeah thank you so so much Becky. I really do appreciate it and I can't wait to use them. Hi guys so it's much later on now on Tuesday evening. It is currently what time? Nearly 11 o'clock and I vlogged this morning when I got my delivery of those stickers and then after that I obviously went to go and teach today and I've been at rehearsals, it's been our first session back after Panto and it was really good, we had someone come in and do a workshop with us, an acting workshop and it was really really good and really interesting so I did enjoy that and now I'm home and my alarm is set for 6am tomorrow morning because I am off to London with Luke to go and see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child in London. I'm seeing parts one and two tomorrow, so we're seeing part one in the afternoon and part two in the evening and then we're staying over and coming home on Thursday and then going straight out to go and teach again. We booked this show back in April I think, so it's been a long time coming but I'm so excited for it. It's going to be incredible. I've only just started packing some stuff up because obviously we've got to stay over so I need to like pack overnight stuff and I always get to a point where I kind of forget what I need and then there's always stuff that you can't pack till the morning because like stuff I need to use in the morning like my toothbrush, deodorant, makeup, loads of stuff like that so I can't really pack all of it but I know I'm going to end up forgetting stuff so let's hope I don't. I haven't even decided what I'm wearing tomorrow. I have a couple of ideas but I don't really know. And then for the next day, I've just put in a pair of black skinny jeans and a t-shirt that I quite like. So it doesn't matter too much because we'll obviously just be in London for like the morning. I'm not really sure what time our train back is, but obviously it's like morning time because we have to get back for teaching. So 
yeah um i've packed up what i can so far and there's probably things i've forgotten i've remembered my tickets i have set a reminder on my phone because i thought i was going to forget them but i've remembered to pack them i'm so excited it's gonna be so good i've heard nothing but amazing things about the show so i just hope our seats are good because we're sat kind of far back but i'm sure it'll be good anyway <laughs> Have you got enough DVDs there? Yeah. Just buying a few of the Disney DVDs, just a few. Just a few. Why are you me? <laughs> oh wow. That is absolute top quality focus. I'm upset. Why are you upset? <gasps> it's not even stuck to the label. Heartbreaking. Just colour it in with a felt tip. <laughs> Luke currently works at HMV apparently. This is how many DVDs he brought earlier because he's collecting all of the classics and the special ed ed edition covers. Also, Celebrity Juice is playing in the background, so that's what you can hear. But we're at our hotel and he's left his minging socks in the middle of the floor. Again! Just the one. If you guys watch the holiday vlogs, you'll remember when he kept doing this. Because I kept calling him out for it. But we're, we're in the Premier Inn in... Where is it? Where are we? Kensington. Kensington. That makes us sound really posh. We're in Kensington. Oh, look at this light. And I mean, if my makeup didn't look as disgusting, then it'd be even better. Um, basically, this is what happens when I go outside. Even when I straighten my hair. It turns like this. So I look grim. So just ignore that. But we're in our hotel room. We're at the Premiere Eon. And Luke looks fuming. I was grossed out at Premiere Eon. Or whatever you just said. And we've got this little desk area, the toilet, which we don't go into. Because <coughs> it smells. Shit in no, you did. Yeah, no, you did. Yeah. Luke's brought some Doritos, which I'm probably going to steal some of. This is our mirror. This is my outfit, actually. I didn't show it. I don't really like it that much, but I had to go... Ha like, I just... I feel like this skirt doesn't suit me. I feel like I look a bit strange in it, but... Of course, I had to go full out for Harry Potter and Cursed Child. So I've got my Expecto Patronum t-shirt on. You just can't see where it says Patronum because it's tucked into my skirt. And my Time Turner. Because I thought... I need to wear this for the occasion. And then... I don't know where this top's from. I think it might be Primark. And I don't know where the time turn necklace is from either. And this belt's from Primark, this skirt's from New Look. And then I just wore my white Converse. Luke, what's your outfit of the day? Black where are they from? Jack Wills. I think it's awesome. Thanks for the enthusiasm. We loved it. And here's our little TV here. And this is our little room, which is hella cute. What did you think of Cursed Child then, Luke? <laughs> Were you with all your DVDs taking all the labels off? You look mental. <laughs> Annoyingly, I have 42 to 49, but not 47. <laughs> what is 47? <laughs> I just stood on your sock, you need to move it. Anyway, what? without giving any spoilers, because hashtag keep the secrets. Is that what the hashtag's called? I feel like I got that wrong. Yes, you are. What did you think, Luke? It was amazing. I don't think you've got here, like I don't really know. Sorry, but... Sorry. Obviously, we're not going to give any spoilers whatsoever, but it was amazing. Literally amazing. At first, when we were watching it, I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like this, because it started off... I don't know, I thought... I was a bit unsure as it started, but then I got straight into it, and it was, like, <coughs> amazing. Like, I was, like, hooked on the whole story, and some of the stuff they did was insane, and, like... It was just amazing and I was worried about our seats, I did say this in this vlog, but it wasn't too bad. Like, we couldn't see the full stage, there was a bit of the front of the stage that we couldn't see that well, but it didn't really affect anything majorly, so it was fine. And yeah, I absolutely loved it. <laughs> Same. So, as you can tell, we're back in the hometown. And 
as Luke is beautifully fashioning, <laughs> I brought myself a new record. And you may be thinking, Esme, do you even have a record player? Well, I do now, sis. Basically, my nan was trying to get rid of this one. And she asked me if I wanted it, so I was like, um, yes. But I don't actually have any records because I've never had one before. My dad's got a record player, but he listens to very different music to me. So I brought my first one yesterday while we was in London. And it is the Awesome Mix Volume 1, which is the soundtrack from Guardians of the Galaxy. And Luke's having some issues <laughs> trying to open it. So we're going to test out the record player. Also, there's a sneak peek to something else I brought. Ooh, oi oi. <laughs> Hi guys, so it's currently Friday evening. It's six o'clock and I've just got back from teaching and then I have a singing lesson. We'll probably be leaving in just over an hour for that. Today I went out with my friends Maria and Kitty. We went out shopping for the day and it was so lovely. I had such a nice time catching up with them. Haven't seen them in a long time so it was just such a good day. I definitely brought more than I was expecting. I basically brought quite a few clothes and a couple of other bits but mainly like clothes but I just have been like experiment. This sounds stupid but I've been experimenting a bit more with my style recently like my fashion and I'm really enjoying it and like buying clothes that are a bit different and stuff that I just love wearing and I'm just sort of changing my style a little bit I don't really know what my style is it's kind of random a lot of the time but I wanted to get some new clothes anyway so I've got quite a few but I've said to myself that when I buy new clothes I have to get rid of other ones I keep going through like my wardrobe and stuff and clearing stuff out but <laughs> have quite a few more clothes now. I'm gonna have like loads and loads but I did buy quite a few bits today um but I will do a haul because I have enough to do a haul so also I know my voice sounds a bit weird I don't know why I think I'm losing my voice I don't really know what's happening so we love that. I came back from shopping and then literally got changed went straight back out to go and teach with Luke and then obviously I've got my singing lesson tonight um I didn't I vlogged a little bit yesterday, but I think it was just from me using my record player for the first time. Also, it looks like I have major bags under my eyes because of the shadows from the lighting, so that's not great. That's a bit better, actually. I've been using my Revolution foundation again, you know, the new one, I can't remember what it's called. And I loved it when I first got it, but now it's just like, just like looks awful on my skin. I don't know if it's because my skin's very dry at the moment, I don't know. Anyway. We came back from London yesterday, we got up at about nine-ish, got ready, went straight to the train station, had something to eat there, and then got the train home, had about an hour to chill here, that's when I tested out my record player, and then we went out to go and teach, and I went to a separate school to loop because he was doing a taster session at another school, then he came back here and waited for me while I went to dance, and then I came back and did the pub quiz. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child was so good, like... I didn't know what to expect from it and as it started I was a bit unsure if I was going to enjoy it. I, I didn't think I'd like hate it or anything, I just wasn't sure if I was going to like it that much and I was worried that I'd overhyped it a bit but it is amazing and it's just really cool because it's as if I've like watched the f like next film or something because obviously it's like, it was basically like watching a Harry Potter film in a way which sounds stupid, it was just obviously a follow on and it was incredible. Obviously, I'm going to not say anything because hashtag keep the secrets. I did get a badge, but I forgot to get it off Luke. There's a couple of things that Luke's got. I'm not, I might have to get them off him at some point. Basically, like my tickets and stuff, and we got given a free badge, and it says hashtag keep the secrets. So I'm not going to give any spoilers, but it is really, really good. So I definitely recommend it if you can get some decent prize tickets for it. And even though we were sat quite far back, it wasn't that much of an issue like it restricted our view a little bit but it wasn't awful and it was still worth like the cheap the tickets were cheap and it and I'm still glad we went like I don't mind like I'm happy that we still got to see it anyway I've got a busy few days like this week has been a little bit manic to say the least tomorrow I'm in Liverpool all day because the theatre group that I go to they have a branch down in Liverpool and they are doing their pantomime tomorrow. They're doing Snow White as well. It's the same pantomime, same script, everything. And 
me and Luke are going down to help. Well, originally we were just going down to help and help with like the little ones. But now because one of the girls has had an injury, she can't do the show anymore. So now I'm filling in for her for the opening number and like the end. It's the same number, but like it's done at the start and the end. Um, we're doing the greatest show. I've had to borrow one of the ensemble costumes off um, someone else that did ensemble for the one back in December that I was the evil queen in. So the <laughs> I'm wearing that and I'm actually going on stage tomorrow, which is kind of weird and I feel like I say not ready, but I know the dance and everything. I'm fine with it. It's just weird that I'm going to be on stage tomorrow, but I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a very busy day. I've got to get up at like seven and then I probably won't get back till like God knows what time. So I'm going to be exhausted. And then of course I have a seven hour rehearsal tomorrow and we're having program photos. So I need to make myself look fairly presentable for that. While I was in London, I brought a few things. Um, I'm not going to do them or put them in a haul because it's kind of just like a few DVDs and stuff so there's no point really. I don't want to add them into my haul of the stuff that I brought today so I'm just going to show them in the vlog. Um, the DVDs are here. I also did buy a jumper. You saw it um, in this vlog actually like I showed it briefly. It's the one from the Wreck-It Ralph collection at Shop Disney, the Ralph Breaks the Internet film. Um, all the princesses had like the pyjamas and like loungewear on in the film. And I got the Snow White one with the poison apple and it says poison on it. It's like a cropped jumper. It's so cool. And I wanted it as soon as I saw it. And I was looking at it again on Wednesday and Luke convinced me to buy it. So I did and I've already worn it. We came home yesterday and I, then after dance came home, got ready and I just put it on for when we went out to the pub quiz and I love it. But I got that and then I think the rest is just DVDs. Oh, and obviously I got the vinyl as well, the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 soundtrack on vinyl. And then I got a few DVDs. I got this, which is Carl Pilkington's Sick of It. It's his recent TV series. He has like the voice in his head, which is actually him, and it's like he is actually there. So you see him as himself, and then you see like the voice in his head is like talking beside him and stuff. And... I've only seen a couple of episodes like when it came out and I didn't end up catching up with it. Me and my dad love Carl Pilkington and we didn't get to watch the full thing. And this was on sale for 6 99 so I thought I might as well pick it up and then we can actually watch it properly. But it is really, really funny. I love Carl Pilkington. He is one of my favourite people ever. Then I also got this, which you're <laughs> probably going to judge me for, but it is a film that I absolutely love and it makes me laugh so much. And it's flushed away. I just love this film and I just... I had to get it whenever I watch it I just love it like I find it so funny like this humor is like my kind of thing like I'm just like I just find silly things like this funny like flushed away chicken run Wallace and Gromit obviously it's made by the same people I just find it hilarious then that was $5.99 as well um the jumper that I got as well from the Disney store was £25. Then I also got this film which I have loved since I was young and we had it on video but not on DVD so I saw it and had to pick it up. This is £5 and it's The Parent Trap with Lindsay Lohan. If you've not seen this you need to watch it. It's so good. It's just like my childhood. I can't wait to watch it again. Then I also got for £7, well actually a couple of these were even cheaper than the price on them. I think it's the, just the Disney ones mainly because they were cheap anyway and then there was like a further 20% off so I think most of them were like five pounds or less. I got Zootropolis, I have watched it before. I watched it on Sky, because it was on Sky On Demand for a while, and I found it so funny and I really, really love it. So I decided it was one I needed to get on DVD. Then I also got one that I haven't seen in a very long time, and it is The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I always feel like I'm saying that wrong, but I got that as well, and I'm really excited to watch it again, because it's been way too long. And then finally, I've got this one, which is one of my all-time favourite Disney films. And the cover is one of the Disney Villains covers. It's like the special edition cover, and I'm obsessed. It's Empress New Groove with Yzma on it. It's amazing. I love it so much. And there's a face that I always pull to like people, and people say I look like Yzma when I do it. I'm not going to do it now. But, but yeah, I had to get it because it's got Yzma on the front, and I love this film. So, yeah, just thought I'd show you those. I've got... <laughs> ended up getting quite a few DVDs randomly but I didn't get as many as Luke as you saw he got loads but he's collecting all the special edition 
covers for all the classics so ones like this so where it's like the film and it's got one of well this one's got two of the characters on but it's got a character on the front um kind of like this one but this is the villains collection and like this one so yeah those are the dvds and stuff i got just thought i'd show you now and then all the stuff that i brought today you will see coming up in a future haul but i'm so tired <laughs> i've just got such a mental weekend coming up and i've already had a mental few days and i just feel like i need to sleep but it's all good so it's all gonna be worth it and it's been a good few days so i'm glad that it's all happened even if i am probably gonna be dead by sunday evening <laughs> i probably won't vlog now till um saturday after rehearsals because tomorrow's gonna be too mental and the same as sunday so i probably won't end this vlog or vlog again till sunday night and i'm sorry my voice sounds awful i'm obviously just coming down with something i don't really know that's all i wanted to show you hope you're having a great day <laughs> okay guys so i'm vlogging this on my phone because my camera's upstairs and i just wanted to vlog this now um because i'm going out soon to a singing lesson and i've just come to here now that didn't make sense but i'm vlogging it on my phone because it's quicker for now but we have some little guests with us for this weekend and i don't know if you can hear them can you hear them? Basically, <laughs> at, um, my mum teaches at primary school and um, in the nursery and they've recently had some eggs and the eggs have hatched. There's been some little baby chicks and there was someone else meant to be taking them home for the weekend but because they live too far away they would have been and obviously they would have had to switch the heat lamp off. It would have been off for too long and I don't think they would have coped without it for that long at all so we had to take them home now so they're just living at our house for the weekend but I really want to keep one because I love them and I've always wanted a chicken because obviously it's not going to stay like a chick forever but I really want a chicken so yeah wish I could keep one mom won't let us keep one we do have a lot of animals but yeah we have some new little chicks for just for the weekend unfortunately and here they are. I hope you can see them properly. I mean, the light from the lamp's not going to be ideal. But oh my god, look how cute they are. Are they or are they not the cutest things you've ever seen? This is just the absolute dream. Hi! Oh, this one's going to say hello. Hi! Oh my god. so cute okay so i know the lighting's atrocious because obviously the lamp in there is really bright but i just wanted to pick one up and show you obviously i'm going to be very careful look no you're beautiful look oh my god how cute is he oh my god can't cope. They are the cutest things ever. Oh my god. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Daisy. Happy birthday to you. Hi guys, so it's currently about 10 past 6 on Sunday evening and as I imagined I didn't get a chance to vlog over the weekend. Obviously yesterday I was in the show in Liverpool and it went really well and it was a really nice day. I was so tired afterwards though and then today I've been at rehearsals all day and then came back, had some food and then went out and had more food. <laughs> so basically I went to my friend Daisy's house because it was her birthday yesterday and a few of us went over for some bits of food and some cake and just to see them basically and it was really really nice and yeah that's what happened this weekend so it's been a very busy weekend but I have really really enjoyed it and tomorrow should be a little bit more laid back towards the start of the day I'm gonna try and have a bit of a lie in also tomorrow I'm going to see Strictly live and I'm so excited I am sat on my own because my mum actually booked tickets for her and a couple of friends and didn't ask me if I wanted one, which is very rude. So then she so then she booked me one separately. So I'm sat like further back on my own, which is fine, but 
yeah i'm very excited about that but i don't know if you can film it i don't know but i i'm gonna end this vlog here because i'm about to take my makeup off and just chill out for a little bit because i'm very tired but i hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one bye